What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So I was having a conversation with the Heavenly Father in prayer, and he placed this word in my spirit, reset. Now, initially, when you think about the word reset, it brings to your mind of something starting over or resetting to the default setting. But the Heavenly Father said, think about that word deeper. Think deeper about that word. So I said the word to myself again, reset. And then another word came to my spirit, reorganized. See, the Heavenly Father is letting me know that he's about to bring stuff back to the proper perspective where it belongs. He's about to reorganize your life. He's about to replenish your life. He's about to reestablish your footsteps. God wants to do a new thing in your life and he wants to bring stuff back to the proper order in your life. Because sometimes our lives can become chaotic because nothing is organized. Everything is everywhere. So the Heavenly Father has to sit you down in order to reset some stuff that was moved out of place. See, the words say in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10, But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. And it went on to say in verse 11, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So when the Heavenly Father begins to transform your life and bring stuff back to the proper perspective of where it belongs, remember to give him the glory. Because that's putting stuff back in the proper order when you keep God first. When you come to God before you go to anything else. See, the Heavenly Father wants a relationship with you. He wants you to talk to him. He wants you to understand that he will establish your footsteps. He will make you perfect. He will strengthen you. He will give you everything that you need when you come to him. God wants to do a miraculous thing in your life, and he wants to reset. Reset your mind. Reset your mind so that you set your thoughts on heavenly things that's above and not beneath. So to bring this to a close, the Heavenly Father, by our faith in Lord Jesus, wants to reduce the distractions in your life. And that's why he wants to bring us to a place of newness. He wants to renew things about our life. Because you know the words say we find new identity in Christ. And so with that new identity, we get to bring God's name glory in the proper way. And when he brings you to this newness of life, we can't keep looking back. See, like I said at the beginning of the video, the father placed the word reset in my life. And now that I'm thinking about it, sometimes we do got to start over. Sometimes we got to start over and that's why God will bring us to a place of isolation. Because that's one of the ways that reduces distractions. I promise you, if you disappear for a while and you stop hanging in familiar territory or familiar environments and stuff of, of that nature, you're going to begin to notice a change in your mindset. Because sometimes it's hard for us to renew our minds because of the environment we continue to indulge ourselves in. There's things that we got to let go. And God wants our life to go back to the default settings. That's the purpose for Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, like I always say, didn't come to get rid of the law. He came to fulfill the law. And he came to fix the posture of our hearts. He came to give us a new heart, a new mind a new spirit, a clean spirit. So 
Continue to keep your focus on Lord Jesus. Set your mind on heavenly things that's above and not beneath. And God is going to transform you. He's going to replenish everything that the enemy tried to deplete you from. Stay focused. I pray this word bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I love y'all.